Welcome to another wonderful section with me. My name is Oluwole as you all know and in this wonderful section I'll be showing you how to use one of the websites I gave you access to. Yes, the name of the website we'll be using today is called Freepik. This website is a wonderful website. Let me first of all open it. So all I just need to do is put freepik.com. So it will show me the websites now. Can you see? So for you to download anything on this website, you need to just register. Basically, that is all you need. As you can see, I am already signed in. That is why my picture is displaying here. All right. So um, like I said, this website is a very, very wonderful website. You can download so many templates, so many pictures and so many resources from this website. Now, let's say, for instance, we want to design a logo. All I just need to do is put in logo. And I put search. So when I click on search, it will automatically show me samples of logos. Yeah, logo templates that I can work with. And as you all know, you will have these logos in vector files. That means you can work with Illustrator. You can edit them with Illustrator. Then you also have logo mockups. Like I said, I'm going to show you how to design mockups. So when we get to that stage, I'm going to show you how we are going to do it. So you have so many logo templates here that you can work with, you can edit them, you can customize them to fit your need, to fit what your clients want. As you can see, you have numerous number of logo templates here. You see? Can you see this 3D logo? Can you see? Then you have these social media icons. Then see this, um, look at this 3D logo again. Okay, so let me search for posters 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 okay so i'm searching for posters can you see we have so many templates here can you see so many templates i can use and they all come in two different types you have them in vector as you can see here you see vectors and psd vector means illustrator file psd means photoshop file so yeah so many many templates you can work with as you can see and also it is important i tell you that you also have the premium template but you don't actually need them because what you have here is um enough to do any project you want okay so you have so many many templates you can work with let me just walk you through can you see can you see so you have so many templates let me click on next let's check the next page can you see so many templates look at this food template you can use this to design a food poster to advertise can you see okay so you have other ones here as well can you see them so this was this so this website is just wonderful you have so many templates you can use here you know depending on the job you are asked to do okay so um you can also search for instagram template you can just put ig posters or ig templates I see IG post so it's going to show you some wonderful templates you can use for your IG post you know like I said as a graphic designer you can also work as a social media manager so you can use some of these templates to um, undo any page depending on the client specification and depending on the um, type of projects you are working on can you see so this is a wonderful template so now what we'll do is we'll download one so we'll play around with that one we'll edit it to fit our niche then we'll move on from there i hope you understand so let me just look for something nice this is a furniture collection um poster we can actually download this one then use this one but as you can see whenever you want to download anything make sure you always check the um file type as you can see this is psd and we are still working on illustrator okay so let us look for illustrator file now what do we do if we want to um streamline our search to illustrator all we just need to do is click on these vectors then it will streamline it to vector files which is illustrator then we can as well change it to um uh, posters So that will have so many te templates okay can you see you have so many templates here so many templates 
look at this travel the world template this is also nice you can also work with something like this so let's just download this one let's download this let's play with this it is already downloading as you can see five megabytes this and that and that so after downloading it the next thing you need to do is extract it so i come to my files i come to download then i extract it this is his travel poster then i edit i come to open with i open with um rar which is rack extractor max okay so it will automatically extract it it's saying where should you where do i want it to be i say downloads and it cl i click on extract can you see it here this is the folder so i click on the folder then can you see i look for the ai file okay this is the ai file so i just click on it so i click on close i don't want that font Control zero to zoom in very well can you see so this is what the template looks like so this is what the template looks like can you see how simple and straightforward it is so all you just need to do is put in your own words then put in your own picture very very simple and straightforward so let us look for a picture online let's search google for travel google so i'll search for travel or i can search for black woman traveling okay so i click on pictures so it will show me so many pictures and remember like i said always make sure the picture you are using does not have watermark and make sure the picture is very very clear okay so how do we fix that you come to tools you click on tools then you come to size then you come to large can you see size you click on large so it will streamline it to those large files okay so let's keep searching for good pictures it seems this one has watermark this one has watermark okay let's close it so remember always make sure you use pictures that does not have watermark that is what to make you stand out as a professional a professional does not use pictures that has watermark this one also has watermark okay meanwhile let me show you a website where you can reuse to remove your um, watermark from any picture so let me download this picture um save image as downloads so just come to google search for watermark remover can you see this is it here so you just click on it watermark remover online then you click on this upload image then you select the picture that you want to remove the watermark okay let me just quickly look for that picture okay this is it here then i click on open so it will just remove the watermark for me can you see can you see the difference guys can you see that there is no watermark there again okay so you click on download image it's very simple and straightforward so i just download the image then i go back to ai which is illustrator then I look for that picture. So this picture right here, we cannot use this picture because it is not a JPEG format or a PNG format. I only downloaded it to show you how to remove background. So let me just show you the picture after removing the background. Can you see? So this is the picture after removing the background. So let's look for a better picture that we can use for this poster. Okay. You can as well come to freepick.com to search for travel pick traveler or something. Let's search for travel. Okay, 
so you can see some nice pictures here so let's click on all images this is nice can you see this is very nice so you can download this let's download this so i come back to illustrator then i upload the picture that i just downloaded this is it here can you see it is very sharp and clear okay so i just resize it so we are fixing it here so let me zoom in so now how do we make it enter that layer remember everything is in layers so all i just need to do is open up these layers then this is the picture we just uploaded this is the um, flyer layers so i click on this drop down again i see this flyer layer here i hope you can see it as well i click on this drop down then it will show me all the um elements in the flyer can you see so this drop down contains all the elements in the flyer so after doing that what i just need to do is drag the picture down down to this point so as you can see i've brought it down here so let me bring it a little bit to the top okay it's already coming up very good so can you see now i've brought it to the front so all i can do now is i can remove this um, your logo this and that and that i delete this one i can delete this one too so that has been done can you see now can you see this is the entire flyer and this is what it looks like okay so let me zoom in can you see how beautiful it is so we can just add a picture here too or you can just add your prizes whatever you want this one says let's travel i like this right up so i'll maintain it it says let's travel I'm double clicking to enter that particular group so I can increase this one I would like it to be much more bolder let's travel then this book now can be like that so you can just put your title all you just need to do is double click on it to open the layer just keep double clicking until you see that layer selected can you see I want to have it selected like this so I have it selected now can you see have only this layer selected so if I double click it again I'll be able to edit it or I press T which is text and I select all and I put my own text can you see so that is that then if I want to do for this one too all I need to do is just double click on it keep double clicking until you see that particular layer highlighted can you see so now it is highlighted so i can press t to edit it and i can put anything i want there i hope you understand so that's the same way we'll do the rest of them then if you want to change this icons all you just need to do is select the icon can you see just double tap double click on it Keep double clicking until you have until you have it selected can you see this is a color so if i want to change this color to something else i just change it here but you know as a professional graphic designer you'll be working with color code so you just put in the color code there then you have it fixed so if we are changing that one that means we also have to change the rest of them how do i change it all I need to do is double click, double click, double click, double click, double click until I have that particular layer selected. So double click. Can you see I have it selected now? So I can press I, then use it to I drop this color. You understand? So that is it. Then I press escape. I click on this one too. I just double click until I have that particular layer. Double click, double click double click double click then i have it selected I click on i then i select this color again 
I click on V. So I highlight it back. I escape to go out of that layer. Can you see? So that is that. Can you see how beautiful it is? So you can just turn it around. You can change any color. If you want to change the color of this place, you just need to double click it. Double click. Also, you have that color selected. Can you see? So I can click on I, then select this blue shade. And I click on V. Then double click to go out of that layer. Can you see? Very simple. So same thing too with any other one of them. This one that is yellow. You can change it. Just double click on it. Double click. Can you see? So you can change it to anything you want. Can you see? So that is how you can just do it. You can also do this. Do it for this one too. Just double click on it. Double click until you have it selected. Then press I. You click on the shade. Then you press V. Can you see? Then this one too. You can as well do it for this one. Just double click. Double click. Can you see? So I press I. Okay, there's a mistake there. Ctrl Z, Ctrl Z, Ctrl Shift Z to redo, Ctrl Shift Z to redo, Ctrl Shift Z to redo, Ctrl Shift Z, Ctrl Shift Z. So it seems as well. So I just click on I to select this back. So I come here. I click on this. Okay. Double click on it. Okay. So this right here is um, a section where you can actually put an image inside. So let's just look for one simple image. Let me look at this. Okay, let me just download this one quickly. Save images. So I come back here. I bring in the image. Oh, it's also WebP. So I need to just download it normally. So I just click on download, free download. Then it starts downloading. I come back here. Then I bring in that image. JPEG. Can you see? I see so I zoom out that's control minus control plus to zoom in then I resize it I bring it in then control zero then I hold shift to resize it then I resize it perfectly here okay so it is already in so now I can just select this layer to see where that particular layer is select it can you see so it is deep down in here okay so i just zoom out again i select this and i drag it down I drag it down 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 here so it is inside this particular layer is coming so i bring it in here i open this one I bring it okay let me do it this way let me put it here first then I bring it in okay can you see so I just have to bring it inside that particular layer so like i said how do you know the layer that is active when you see it showing in blue the reason why everything is showing blue now is because everything has been grouped that is why we have to double click to edit a particular section okay i hope that is very clear so that is that you can as well edit the address you have here the website address then the social media handles you can do that then ctrl plus to zoom in so so as you can see in less than an hour you should be able to do a very nice poster for yourself 
just like you have it here okay so it is very very straightforward you can just come to that website thefreepick.com and download pictures download templates that you can use download logos download mockups don't worry when we get to that section i'll show you how to edit mockups with photoshop okay so basically that is how to do it you can also search for another poster template let's assume you are working for um you have to work for uh a product you want to work on a product just select vector it will show you vector templates so what you want to do will determine the type of poster you are downloading if you are doing a poster for sales you see this can go for sales if you are doing a poster for um a, an event this can go if you are doing a poster for um traveling and tour this can go so what you want to do will determine the type of poster you should download so let's say food poster if i'm downloading food poster can you see it has various types of food posters that you can download and work with so let me download one let's play around with it okay I think I like this first one. So let's say somebody contacts you to design a food poster for him or her. You can come here and download it. Simply as simple as this. Just click on free download and it will download automatically. Can you see? Restaurant flyer. So you don't actually have to start from scratch when you are designing a poster. You can just come here and search for a very nice template that you can use. Here is another template. Can you see? But regardless, I'll show you how to design from scratch. But I want to show you how to use templates as well to make your work faster. <clears throat> because there are times you'd actually have a whole lot of projects and you don't have time to be designing from scratch. So it is very, very important that you know how to work with templates as well. Okay, so let me quickly extract that file. It says restaurant flyer. I just click on open with. So I want you to download this rack extractor on your computer so just click on it it will just show this then i click on extract automatically it will extract it here so this is it here this is the ai this is the ai um format so i just click on this double click and it's open it for me Control zero can you see so this is it so all i just need to do is Put in the food I want to sell. Put in the food I want to advertise. I just put it there. And then I use my own write-up. Can you see? Very, very simple. I just put in my write-up and I put in my color. So, what we need to do now is let's look for pictures that we can put here. So, I go to Chrome. I can just go to Google to search for food. Let's look for African food. Okay. can okay, you see so we just need to look for something that looks very nice this is okay so let's see if we can have something better this is not bad as well this is not bad okay I like this something somebody can easily relate with but this is not sharp so I need something very sharp this is sharp you can download something like this just click on save image as then you save look at this you can also download something like this Look at this. You can download this too. Just download pictures that make sense that goes well with what you want to work with. So you come to the layer panel, you drop click on this drop down, <coughs> click on this drop down, then you click on this drop down to see all that you have inside. Then this one too as well. So let's double click inside, select this one. 
so we already see it here that these are the groups click on this drop down so here are the three groups that we have there so let's click out okay let me ungroup everything then i click on this we still have a group here i want to ungroup it uh, the reason why I'm ungrouping everything is just to make sure you see what is going on in the background. Okay. So, let's see. This is the um, three boxes we have here. Can you see? If I switch it off now, you can see. So, you click on this drop down. Then you have this. Then you can put in your food there. Okay. So I come to downloads. Let me just bring in one of the food. Then this is the layer. Look for the layer here. I bring it down. Can you see? So I just need to put it properly. Can you see? So you can also turn it around if it's not looking okay. You can turn it around or you can also look for a picture that shows a plate directly. You understand? So let's look for another one. Let's do the same thing for this one too. You bring it down. Let's put it here first. Then click on this drop down. And I bring it here. Okay. It has to come inside. So let's move it here. Correct. So I adjust it to make it show the dish. Then let's do the last one. Where is the last meal? Okay. Okay, since this one is a webp format so let's look for something else online okay let's look for another meal okay this is nice let's download this then i click on save then i go to ai i open this this one too is also webp so i can just take a screenshot with my computer then i drag it in so let me reduce it and bring it here okay so after bringing it in i can now reduce the size I see I'm trying to open that particular layer then I bring it in here then I resize it make sure you always hold down your shift when you are resizing so that it will be perfectly adjusted can you see so basically I'm done the pictures are very very important so make sure you put in very nice pictures then as you can see you can put the logo here you can put the logo here this place where you have your logo then if i want to change it assuming the color of the um, brand is not green i can just double click on the green can you see then i change it let's say it is blue i can just change it to blue I click on OK. Can you see? So let's say it is this blue. I click on this green. I click on I. Then I select that blue. Then I click on V. Then this down part, I can just double click it. I can even make that place yellow or white. Let's make it white. 
Can you see? So I just put in my own text. Delicious food. This is nice. So let's just change the font to something else. Can you see? You can use a nice font. That is why I've given you access to those fonts so that you can always work with them whenever you want. Can you see? You can use something like this delicious food. Then delete this, delete this. So delicious food. Then you can put in something else. Let's see. All done now. Something very simple. Then you can change the color. This can be blue. Just click on I, select this shade, and click on V. So, order now. Then, whatever you want to have here, you can put the text or the phone number, or you can just put the slogan here instead of order now. You understand? Or you can do something like all African meals at your doorstep you understand just put in a right content then you change this to something lighter so you select the two of them you just centralize it like this I can even bring it down then bring this one to down like this to centralize it <clears throat> then order now can you see I change this font just change all the fonts so it will all come out to her so you can make this one white This one I can change this one to probably yellow can you see then this other now too I can also do the same thing Just look for a golden shade and make it a golden shade. Then I can change it to a bold. Can you see? So, all this one that are here, all this right up, you can change the color to black. Can you see? So, very, very simple. So, this green can become white. Change this to white and click on OK. Then you click out. You can even drag it a little bit. Can you see? It's already looking beautiful. Then the prices, you can also change that place. But if I'm the one doing this, well, it depends on the projects. But I would rather not put a price there so that when people want to patronize, they can just come to my DM to ask for the price. So let me just erase the price. I'll just leave it like this. Then special service. Click on this. Click on this. Click on I. Select the shade. Change the font. Then I can change it from regular to bold. Can you see? So basically that is it we are literally done with this project so that is how you can do projects and make it very nice look it very make it look very very good so i want you to also look at um templates look at samples you can work with and come up with something so let me also create something from scratch 
let's assume we are creating an instagram poster so let me just create something simple let's say we are creating a poster for a shoe brand so or a fashion brand a clothing brand rather like i said all you just need is to be creative creativity is all that you need with creativity you can achieve a whole lot of things so i just bring the three of them here then i make sure they are all sized up equally okay so i reduce this to can you see then i centralize all of them after doing that I bring this a little bit like this then this a little bit like this to make it equal then I adjust the two of them can you see so I make sure they are all centralized okay perfect so I can have something like this then what I need to do is I need to just look for pictures of let me see them do main fashion or native let's see native okay so these are the type of pictures I would like to use let me download this Okay, let me download this. Okay, let me download this. I'll be using those three okay so what I want to do now is I'm going to highlight all this then I'll press ctrl C and ctrl F what does that mean it means copy and paste in front so I already copied and pasted it it is exactly on that same layer if I should move it now you can see that it is there so all I just need to do now is hold shift there, reduce it a little bit. So I highlight this two, I centralize it. I highlight this two, I centralize it. I highlight this two, I centralize it. Can you see now? So what I'll do is I'll now adjust it, create that space again. Do the same thing for this one. Create that space again. So I'll start bringing in my pictures first. So I select this one, I select the inner layer, then I click on make clip marks. It's saying something, something, something. It means this has to come to the front. So I click on arrange, bring to front. Then I select the picture, I click again, make clip marks. Can you see? So I double tap on it to adjust the picture. Can you see? So it is perfectly placed like this. Let me do the next one. Then bring in this one. So I adjust this one. I bring this layer to the front. Arrange, bring to front. Then I select the picture. Then I close it, clip marks again. I double tap to edit the picture. Can you see? Okay, so let me use another one. Okay, this is the last one. So I create, click on this, bring it to the front, arrange, bring to front. Then I click on the picture and then click again, create clip marks. I double tap to adjust the picture. 
Can you see? So that's all done. Normally I would have changed this picture to something else, but since it's just for tutorial, I'll just leave it. So I've done that. Now what I can do is I go here again, I search for background, background pattern. So when I look for background pattern, I can use something like this. I just click on download, save images, then I save it. Then I come back here. Where is it? It is a WebP format, so I need to take a screenshot of it. Remember, you cannot upload a WebP format to your Illustrator. So just upload the screenshots. I adjust this one. Okay. Then I send to the back. We've made a mistake. Can you see? I've dragged it without holding down Shift. That is why it's looking distorted like this. Do not do that. So you press Ctrl Z, Ctrl Z. Can you see? So if you want to adjust it, just hold Shift and resize it so that it will be in a perfect form. Can you see? So I click on this. I click on Arrange. Send to the back. Then I reduce the opacity. Can you see? So you can also choose to lock the layer if you want. You can choose to do that. Okay. So if you are not satisfied with that, you can use another nice layer. It all depends on you. You can just look for something else to use. So Let's see if we can find something else that will be better than that. Okay. I think I say prefer that one. I think I prefer that one. So let me scroll to the top. Let me see this one. This one is not that nice. So let's just stick to this. So, like I said, you can lock this layer. Let me show you. You come to layers. Since it is the last layer, look at it here, blue. You just lock the layer, then come back to properties. So, after doing that, I need to adjust it again. Let me adjust it like this, then bring it here. So, this 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 i change the color and make it blue um this or this this is not bad then the stroke i cancel stroke can you see so you can still play around with it do something like this then you cancel fill you add stroke can you see so you can duplicate this put it here then you turn it around can you see transform reflect can you see then click ok so you move it make it come in line fall in line with this so as you can see we still need to turn it around so let me just turn it like this so i shift it let it sit here very good just like that this one too needs to come a little bit yeah so just like that so you can do something like this you can even still do something like this i see like i said all you just need to do is be creative just be creative you can do anything you can do anything then you type let's say you want to do let's say remarkable fashion so 
you can do something like that you can choose a nice font can you see then you change it to something like this remarkable fashion then you just put it right up there change this to semi bold then put it here then I centralize it so like I said you always play around with it I can just copy all this um, social media icons then put it here So with that, I can just create a yellow border or I can come here and search for salt paper PNG. Can you see? So that will give us that effect. see this okay look at this this is better so let me download this oh I can even download this one let me download this save image as and I save so I come here where is it let me open it so now after opening it I can just crop out the one I want so let me go back to my illustrator and import the picture so I bring it in look at it here so I just look at it which one is better as you can see it is very blur but you can do something like um, okay let me reduce it first so that you can see you can first of all crop this image you can crop it to pick the one you want let's say we are going for this I crop it then I click on image trace black and white logo can you see so immediately it will come out sharp but I don't like the way the edge is showing so let me delete it and look for something else that is better this looks better so let me download this one this one is very sharp so i come back to illustrator i bring it in okay it's a webp format so all i just need to do then is to crop it out so i crop it before importing so i upload the screenshots then I do that same thing again, image trace, black and white logo. Can you see this is better? Then I click on expand. Then I delete this black part. Double click, select the black, delete the black. Then I click out. Then I turn it around. Okay. So I can make it start from here. Drag it like this. Drag it like this, then drag it to the bottom. Can you see? So this can be this shade. So all I just need to do is press, bring it to the back, click on layer, let it come below those texts. I see so properties 
then I need to delete this line can you see control zero so I centralize this one properly so you can even see how order now here yeah. I'm going it up a little bit bring this to a little bit then I click I type order now can you see so I can make this one a button just draw this here and I bring this to the front arrange bring to the front then I put this one here like this at the center I adjust the edge then I put this here can you see so now I can select this two then centralize it then select this remaining two centralize everything can you see so let me just adjust it so this way that is good all right so let's say I have a logo that I want to put I'll just put my logo here in fact let me bring in my own logo okay so I just bring in my logo so for instance let's say since I've been using gold this golden yellow and this is um, black and blue I can just as well do the image trace black and white logo then I change it I click on expand I click on this I want to delete the white parts can you see this is now a PNG so all I just need to do is put in the circle that was there before then put in the right up I'm trying to reduce it So after putting this there, I just type the name. Then I enlarge it. So let me bring this like this. Put this one here. Then I put softer fashion. So I can make this one much more bold. Like this. And I put a line here. you see so just like that so all I need to do is reduce it I can even put it at the center here can you see now so I can make this the golden color make this one to the golden color and we're good to go guys we are done you can even still play around like i said it's good to always play around you can click on this star click on this put in three sides click on enter so you reduce this turn it around you know just play around with it then bring another one here just turn it anyhow you want it then you can also reduce it you can duplicate this can you see then you reduce it turn it around duplicate it turn it around then 
zero so this can come like this this can come like this this can come like this just playing around with it so guys this is a professional flyer advertising this shit i mean this um native wears so it's something you can actually do and you collect your money so after editing everything after doing all you want to do now let me show you how to export it okay let me move this a little bit to the top yeah it's perfect so all you just need to do is you come to files can you see file you click here then you come to export okay then you click on export as okay then you name it okay then you change it to jpeg can you see then you click on this use art board so then you click on export then you make sure this is at 10 this is at maximum then this is at rgb okay then you click on okay so you've exported it like that then if you want to save it you can click on files you can click on save then you put the name then you click on save very simple okay so that has been done let me open the let me open the um final products can you see look at it here this is it this is what it looks like so this is what it will look like when you even post it online can you see how clean it is so guys this is just beautiful okay so guys this is just beautiful so that is how it is done you can just do something very simple like this and you are good to go all right so the next thing i need to show you now is how to download fonts like i said i'm going to be showing you how to get all these resources okay so what we need to do now is go back to our chrome then search for the font yes the font the font okay so go to all can you see the fonts.com that is a wonderful website where you can download so many many fonts can you see so any type of font you want you can find it here and download it can you see can you see foreign look we have techno you have gothic so guys you have so many many fonts here so just search for the one that you want and you have them all here so you can download them i want you to have as many fonts as possible so that whenever you're working on any project you'll not be limited to just one font or a certain font you can easily switch up and use any font of your choice okay so here is just a wonderful website where you can download font anyone you want then you also have all these um natural effects all these natural fonts you can also use them then um arabic uh where is fancy let me see we should have okay see fancy we have cartoon can you see so you have so many types of fonts here that you can use you can download so all you just need to do is click on download then it's download immediately can you see if i click download it downloads immediately so i want you to download as many as possible fonts so that you will not be restricted or limited to a particular font okay so thank you very very much guys thank you for your time i'll see you in the next section